Hello, Katrina Bullock for the Finance News Network and joining me from Mainstream Group is CEO Martin Smith. Martin, welcome back. Thanks, Katrina. Mainstream Group provides a range of services to the funds management industry, both here and overseas. Could you tell us more? Yes, so Mainstream is a full service fund administrator. We basically do the back office and middle office for fund managers. Uh, we do a range of services, including investor services, unit pricing, accounting, performance and compliance. Uh, we do it for three different types of funds, what, what are traditionally known long only funds, uh, alternative funds, which are often known as hedge funds. And more recently, we've uh, um, developed an offering in private equity funds starting in the US, and we've just recently brought that to Asia Pacific. Thanks, Martin. Now, before we talk about your FY20 results, what impact has COVID-19 and market conditions had on the business? We initially thought um, that it could be a major market event uh, in March this year, March and April, um, but it actually transpired that a lot of people used it as an opportunity to launch new funds. Uh, and we saw as, um, probably our biggest quarter. Uh, we typically don't have, June quarter is our slowest quarter. Um, but we actually saw people use it as an opportunity to seed funds. Uh, I think there's a lot of money uh, that's been sitting on the sidelines in endowment funds and pension funds, and people use that as an opportunity to deploy that money. Uh, we had to move quite quickly to remote uh, working uh, with 270 people and an administration business. That's no mean feat. Uh, it was quite challenging for the first sort of two or three weeks. Um, but fortunately, we had quite a good workflow system and probably what would have taken us three years to develop, we had to develop in three weeks. Now to your FY20 results, what were the financial highlights? Uh, so the revenue uh, grew by 11% and the EBITDA grew by 24%. Um, the second half was particularly good. Uh, it was significantly up on the first half, um, considering them the macro situation, we're really pleased with that. Uh, we also secured a major contract uh, with a fund manager called Pendle. Uh, we won a five plus five year contract. We're seeing a big trend from the big banks on the site, out the back of the Royal Commission, um, exiting wealth or outsourcing their wealth services. Um, and we're a beneficiary of that. So it was really pleasing and that contract doesn't go live till February next year, but it really sets us up well for FY21. And what about the operational highlights? You've mentioned the fact that in three weeks you managed to transition to working from home, something that often takes you know, many years. What else happened during the period? Um, so we launched a product for Magellan called the Quoted Fund, uh, Early Australian Share Fund, uh, which is an unlisted fund, uh, was listed on the ASX um, as if it was a listed company like BHP. What that means for uh, investors is they don't need to create uh, or fill in long um, paper-based application forms to buy and sell in that fund. They basically just need to have a broker account and the ticket code. Uh, we have a significant pipeline for that. We really think this is an uber moment for the industry. We do hope our competitors take this up. Um, we certainly have a first mover advantage, uh, being the first person to have the capability to, to administer this product and be approved by the ASX. Um, so we're really pleased with that. Um, we probably have, I think, six other funds currently in transition to that solution. Uh, and we have a pipeline of more than 40 different managers who are interested in that capability. Now turning to new trends in fund management and your finances, what are you seeing happening in the industry at the moment? Well, there's definitely a lot more regulation occurring in the industry, um, particularly around anti-money laundering legislation um, and privacy. So there's a need for our systems to adapt and be enhanced to cater for those needs. Um, we're well placed because we're sharing the cost of that investment across 350 clients. Um, we're well placed to uh, provide that solution at an economic um, price to, to managers. Um, that's the first thing. The other thing we're seeing is um, demand from investors for more digital services. So that means enhanced web services 
ability to transact electronically to basically remove the paper from the system. The quoted funds that we talked about before is an, is an example of that. Um, but some other things we're doing is we've allowed, uh, we've built a new investor on onboarding process where you can actually sign up to a fund electronically. We can screen you and validate you through various databases to meet the AML needs. Um, and we've also um, put in a, a secure transacting platform. So if you're an existing investor, you can do your maintenance or your transacting online um, in a secure, controlled way. Uh, we're, we're very focused on security aspect um, in this digital age. Uh, but it's just about improving the experience for the investor, the timeliness, the accessibility to, to the data that allows them to, to manage their affairs. And last question, Martin, before we let you go, any final words for investors? Yes, so the outlook for mainstream considering COVID is, is, is looking good. Um, we have guidance in the market of 65 million in revenue, which is circa 20% increase on this year. Uh, we also have an uplift to 11 and a half million in EBITDA. Um, we've found that we've been quite resilient. We're providing what, what would be an essential service. Um, and therefore, and there's disruption happening in the market. So, so the outlook for the business um, being listed certainly helps. It gives investors and managers transparency. Um, we're executing on this digital investment that we've been doing for the last two years and it's paying um, dividends. Um, the, the, we've been managing a combination of our working capital, um, our debt uh, and our dividends. Uh, we were able to restore our dividend uh, in September uh, and we're looking at balancing those three levers um, with the view that we'll be able to pay a, a 3% dividend going forward, um, balancing that to um, our working capital and our debt requirements. Martin Smith, thank you so much for your time today and the update and congratulations again on progress and the resilience the company's shown throughout the COVID-19 period. Thanks, Katrina.